Here is a pair of cast iron small block Ford cylinder heads for my 351 build. These are World Products Windsor Senior heads and they've been holding up my build because I intended to gasket match the intake ports to a Felpro 1262 gasket. Here you can see the size of the intake ports prior to doing any work relative to the Felpro gasket and the amount of material that needs to be removed. Uh, while I have gasket match these intake ports. For the purposes of this video, I'll be showing how I smooth and polish the combustion chambers. At the end of the video, I'll go back and show you the work that I did on the intake ports. Um, and I do intend to put these heads back on the flow bench in the future to see how much flow I gained. The reason I want to work on these combustion chambers is to improve the airflow. And I'm going to do that by if you see in this picture here, there's a lip in front of the intake and exhaust valves. I'm going to remove that lip as well as on the shallow side of the combustion chamber. Along the edge, there's a bit of a lip or an overhang. I'm going to lay that back. Um, and additionally, I'm going to just smooth the finish and polish it. And hopefully that improves airflow as well. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I did was to mask off the area around the combustion chamber. Uh, to prevent any damage that might occur if the carbide burr slips while I'm grinding and skips across the face of the cylinder head. And here I'm just using green masking tape. Um, the second thing is I'm using sacrificial intake and exhaust valves that I had uh, took to the machine shop to have the margin, the, the edge of the valve, uh, ground to a very thin edge so that they sit down further in the combustion chamber to better allow me to uh, remove that lip that I was talking about. And these valves are just stock Chevy valves, 202 intake, 1600 exhaust valves. They're melling. I can put the part number up on the screen. Uh, I think they're around $6 a piece at Summit. And lastly, this is the carbide burr that I'll be using. I use this for about 90% of the grinding that I did on the combustion chamber as well as on my um, gasket match of the intake ports. So let's get started. Here I'll be grinding on this combustion chamber that has been untouched and I'll just let the video go until I'm done with the carbide burr. And it'll take probably about eight minutes. So if you don't wanna hear grinding, uh, you can skip forward uh, to see the final results in about eight minutes. I should also point out that this is the first pair of cylinder heads that I've done any work on. If there's any expert headquarters watching, uh, I'm sure you have some better techniques. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. As you can probably hear, my air compressor is pretty small and struggles to keep up.
Here I'm using a Dremel sanding disc to polish the combustion chambers. And after I was done with the sanding disc, I used a Dremel buffing wheel to polish the combustion chambers some more. Uh, these Dremel pieces I picked up from Home Depot, uh, they didn't last very long and they're a little bit pricey. I intended to buy some abrasives from Harbor Freight, but the Harbor Freight is about 45 minutes away from me, so I just went to the Home Depot uh, to save some time.
Here's a look at the intake ports after having done the gasket match. You can see they're a lot larger than they were before. If you've stuck around this long, uh, let me know if you think I'm going to pick up any airflow with these mods. And here's me hitting the intake ports with a cartridge roll to put a 60 grit finish on the intake runners. And here's what the combustion chambers look like after I was finished. I didn't polish them to a mirror finish and I don't think cast iron polishes as nicely as aluminum. But I think they look a lot better than they did before and I think they ought to flow better. Uh, again, this is the first time I've ever done any work on cylinder heads so I'm no expert. And I just wanted to put this out there so that someone that's looking to do this uh, themselves, they can get an idea of, of what goes into it. Uh, thanks for watching.